I think looking is an amazing superpower because we live in such a visual world. Pictures and what you see around you just tells you stories. And this human race is so much about stories. You know, and the more you can see, the more you can open your eyes to and absorb, the more incredible and wonderful life you'll have. We live in a media saturated world where every day bombarded with images and now is the time for a project that makes children more visually literate. We need to understand that images don't necessarily reflect reality and they also affect the way we feel. The superpower of looking will help everybody navigate that. So at the heart of the superpower of looking is a toolkit which provides the knowledge basis. So it tells you for instance about composition, light, colour, space. It really helps you to look, analyse, interpret, but it also is a sort of cheat box to show you what you're missing. So in terms of resources, there's a kit, there's films. When I'm looking at the lady, the bright red of her dress makes me feel happy. There's activities and it holds people's hands. So it's for children, teachers, parents. It's very empowering. The intention of Superpower is to equip children with a lifelong skill and to also give them access to cultural capital. It's not a rarefied thing to be able to look at art, to be able to analyze, to be able to describe things. It's something that anyone can do regardless of their ability. So we look at the world with our eyes and you think, well, that's a kind of everyday occurrence. Anybody can do that. You don't need special training to do that. But it is an amazing superpower. And actually looking at the world, inspecting it, seeing things for what they really are. You're teaching your children actually something about human rights. That's giving them the power to see something in the world and then think about it, make an image of it. And then they advocate. They advocate by showing what they've seen. So looking at the world is truly a superpower. One of the things that really inspired me when I started the project was Amy Herman's work with the New York Police Force, where she went to the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art and looked at paintings with the police and their crime solving rate went up. My name is Amy Herman and I'm the president of a company called The Art of Perception. And what I do is I travel around the world and I help leaders across the professional spectrum from the intelligence community and law enforcement and medicine to enhance their observation, perception and communication skills by learning to analyze works of art. In my work with the New York Police Department, the idea was not for me to come in to teach them how to be better police officers. The idea was to help them be more effective. I'm enabling them to use their inherent power of observation to look for things that would have otherwise been off the radar. So I use details in paintings that hide right in front of them, and I show them how to look for things that would otherwise go unnoticed. One of my detectives told me he solved a crime because he matched a manicure and pedicure. The superpower of looking is seeing what other people don't. It's visual intelligence. What does that mean? taking all the visual information that we have available to us and whittling it down into what we really need to live our lives more purposefully, more mindfully, and engage in the world in a meaningful way. And those superpowers of looking, it's the difference between looking and seeing. Looking at art provides a wonderful apprenticeship. It's like a training in looking. So you learn to acutely observe. You also learn as a byproduct about artists, about history, about maths, about science. So it's a wonderful way of learning this super skill. I think the superpower of looking and looking at art is incredibly important. We live in such a visual world. People take in so much more information from their own observations that they're not even aware that they're taking in. And I think to harness that and to honour that and say this is important, that is so empowering and it's incredibly important for young people. The images we have chosen for this project are from the Nations Collection 
and so children can access this collection for themselves and go and see more art too. Seeing new paintings can be exciting and getting to know new things is exciting as well. So that's the superpower of looking. It's an initiative that we hope will create a paradigm shift that will help your students really engage with what they see, listen to each other, talk to each other, analyse, dissect, and then go out into the playground, use their skill in other parts of the curriculum and in life, and enjoy their superpower.